One of the most common problems that I get asked is how to train when you've got no one to practice with. So this seems to be a very common problem because either a lot of players are away from uh, at tournaments or they're injured or whatever and sometimes you can be left with no one to practice with. So how can you get everything done that you want to do? I've developed quite a wide range of different drills that if you have someone to just feed you balls, you can still practice everything that you need to. It's a super simple one, just working on um, making your movement into the corners really smooth. So I'm going to have a ball fed into this corner. I'm basically just going to move there as smooth as I can and then I'm going to recover back around this cone and then go again. This is super important for keeping your movement loose, smooth, efficient, making sure your spacing is right before you put the shot and it's also a really good one for your fitness because it gets you doing an active recovery. You're not just standing there hitting balls. breath needs to get a bit fitter um, so we do that and we do a full basket and then we go straight onto the backhand side after we've collected the balls and had a breather so after the backhand side I move on to doing uh, inside out, inside in forehands. So I go one inside out forehand, move around the cone, and then inside in, back around the cone, start again. Once I've completed this kind of very general warm-up, um, kind of general movement exercises, I'll go into something a little bit more specific. So for today, I'll work on taking a little bit more time away. So I'm gonna do the V drill. So it's going round the cone, moving up the court, hitting the shot, recovering back, and then moving back up the court on the opposite side, and then recovering back again. things to work on in these exercises are keeping your footwork as light and loose as you possibly can. You don't want to feel like you're putting in effort to move. You don't want to get tense by trying and you want to be keeping your racket arm as loose as you possibly can and it's just very flowing, very smooth, no effort, just feeling the ball 